hello viewer i welcome you all to my video now this video is about a project that i did for my computational mechanics course so the title of my project is analysis of impact resistance and energy absorption of honeycomb composite structure so i am your today's presenter my name is muhammad abir hussain i am a doctoral research assistant in mechanical engineering department at the University of Texas at El Paso. And I work at the UTEP's Materials at Extreme Research Group. So my presentation will get along this outline. I will kick things off with motivation. Then I will do some literature review in the background. Then I will move on to the objectives of my project, the geometry, the boundary condition that has been applied on the geometry. I will talk about the mass mesh optimization, the simulation that I have conducted. And finally, I will wrap things up with discussion and conclusions. So we all the mechanical engineers or the engineers in general all know of these honeycomb structures. So honeycomb structures are natural or man-made structure that have the geometry of a honeycomb and that allows the minimization of the amount of material used. And in the process, we are reducing the weight and the material cost. So honeycomb structure has got some properties that are beneficial to the overall structure of the component. So it has reduced density, it has reduced relative out of plane compression properties and out of plane shear properties. So honeycomb structure has made remarkable evolution in engineering application over the last 40 to 60 years. And the application of this honeycomb structure ranges from the aerospace industry, automobile industry to the structural applications. And since the turn of the century, the manufacture fabrication of this honeycomb, honeycomb structure has reached an astonishing degree of automation. There is an after interest to investigate the performance and efficiency of this honeycomb structure, which can be used in multidisciplinary applications due to its added advantages over other contemporary materials in terms of high specific strength. So let's have a background a literature review of what has been going through with this honeycomb structure. So Zhang et al. has investigated the dynamic impact response and characteristics of aluminum honeycomb filled with EPP foam that is expanded polypropylene through experimentally and numerically. So in the left hand side, you can see their uh, experimental setup, how their sensors and impact and the specimen has set up. And in the right hand side, you can see how the honeycomb has been prepared through EPP, that means expanded polypropylene. Then, Audibert et al. investigated the low impact velocity testing on sandwich composite with carbon fiber reinforced plastic skins and Nomex honeycomb. So, Nomex honeycomb is an important and pretty popular honeycomb structure that is prevalent in today's market. So in the left hand side figure, you can see their experimental setup with accelerometer, specimen, the camera, and there is illustration of their test matrix. And on the right hand side, you can see their result through a simulation where the damage and the delamination damage that has been induced in the, into the honeycomb structure through the impact loading. Palomba et al. elucidated the field of introduction of lightweight and more efficient cross worthy structure. So he investigated the double layer honeycomb sandwich structure and their energy absorption capabilities. Who et al. proposed a rotatable Hopkinson, Hopkinson burr for investigating the impact shear compressive behavior of the cellular materials. And for his design, he used 5052 honeycomb structure at different loading angles and those are being compared with the corresponding quasi static results. He et al systematically investigated the low velocity impact response and the resulting damage behavior of the aluminum honeycomb sandwich structure with carbon fiber reinforced plastic face sheets. They have 
prepared a user material subroutine VUMAT to predict the progressive failure behavior of these composite phase sheets. So looking at all these papers, it has been published very recently in 2018 and 2019. So the impact testing on the honeycomb structure with different kind of mat phase sheets is on the rise. So that project objectives to analyze the energy absorption of honeycomb sandwich panel subject to impact testing and analyze the energy dissipation when different constituent materials are being used as sandwich panels such as aluminium or titanium plates and make some recommendation about which kind of honeycomb structure performs better and finally i will make a uh, cell thickness optimization to default to evaluate how energy is being dissipated while impact loading so at first in the ANSI's design modeler I have to create the honeycomb and for creating the honeycomb I have used an extension called honeycomb creator version 2 and this is a free add-on extension that can be found online and it can be added to the workbench design modeler so in that free extension, we have to define the cell properties and structure properties for the honeycomb structure. So in the table below, I have the cell properties and structure properties for my honeycomb structure. So as I am using ANSYS 19.2 student version, so it has a very limitation on the number of honeycomb structure you can have in your structure. There is the face plate, top face and bottom face plate in the XY plan and also the rigid impact sphere that has been drawn. And I have used multiple drawing plane to draw this face plane, face sheet and the bottom sheet along with the rigid impact sphere. So this is the complete 3D view of the whole geometry you can see the honeycomb structure that is in between the top face and the bottom face and the impact sphere in the middle of the top face. So which basically creates it a sandwich panel honeycomb composite structure. Now the material assigned. So in the literature, there has been a number of material that has been assigned to honeycomb structure like glass reinforced plastic, CFRP, carbon fiber reinforced plastic, then Nomex, Aramid, paper reinforced plastic, and obviously the metal that is mostly used metal are the aluminum honeycomb structure. So I assigned to my honeycomb structure the aluminum nonlinear materials, and for the top plate and bottom plate, I have varied between aluminum and tungsten nonlinear materials, and all these materials have been assigned through the engineering materials library in the ANSYS. The boundary condition that I have been applied as my analysis is being done in explicit dynamics. So I have fixed the bottom face of my structure as a fixed support and I have applied a stepped displacement in the rigid impact sphere in the negative direction of the global z-axis then the mesh optimization for my model so the mesh settings is physical preferences explicit element order is linear and the element size is 9e to the power minus 4 so here are some figure of my mesh the honeycomb structure is completely made with the quad elements and the bottom face with the quad elements. The top face and the rigid sphere is triangular elements. And the mesh quality is, check the mesh quality, yes. And the smoothing is high and the mesh statistics is nodes on the upper side of 18,000 and the elements counts almost 29, almost 30,000. So, and this is the total mesh of my whole structure so one thing to note that in since student version has a node slash element limit of 32,000 so there is a very small space to maneuver with the different mesh settings so I finally settled on these mesh counts 
the simulation that I have been used for this analysis. I have added the total deformation, the z-axis deformation, equivalent elastic and plastic strain, and one Mises equivalent stress. And the analysis has been done in one step. The maximum energy has set to 0.5 and time step safety factor to 0.9. So these are the numbers that I have played around to find the convergence of my simulation. And there is no addition of the element failure. So let's get into the results. So these are my aluminum when I have assigned the aluminum plate on the either side of the honeycomb structure. This is the total deformation. So the total deformation is 0.57 meter. Plate axis deformation is 0.34 meter. And elastic strain is about two. Equivalent plastic strain, it is 1.22. Equivalent one meters stress, it's around 2.8 e to the power 8 pascal. Energy error and conservation, the total energy almost reaches 260 joule and the energy error is 90 joule. This is a 3D simulation video for the simulation. You can see the impact that is penetrating through the top face and the honeycomb and also the bottom face. So you can see some glitches of the software because probably the uh, node has been displaced and it's tracking the nodes. That's why the element is distorted and it's making some glitches. Now let's move on to the tungsten plate results. So this is the total deformation which is about 0.0042 meter. Axis deformation, it is 0.12 meter. Equivalent elastic strain, it is 1.93. Plastic strain, 1.18. And one Mises stress, it's around 6.38 e to the power 8 Pascal, which is pretty higher compared to the aluminum. The energy absorbed is 474 joule and the energy error is 120 joule. This is the 3D simulation video for tungsten plate. Fine tungsten plate is being used on the either side of a aluminum honeycomb. So let's have a comparative study what we have seen when we are using the aluminum plate and when we are using the tungsten plate. So the total deformation, we see that there is a significantly less deformation seen when the tungsten plate is used. In the Xerixis deformation, it is 186% less deformation. We have got higher one Mises failure criteria when we are using the tungsten plate. In terms of equivalent plastic strain, elastic strain, we have slightly less strain in the tungsten, which is which indicates that tungsten plates performs better. The total energy absorbed, there is 44% more energy absorbed in tungsten and 25% more energy error in the tungsten. So all in all, in every criteria, when we are using tungsten plate on the either side of honeycomb structure, it performs better compared to the aluminum plate. So finally, I will conclude my presentation with some with what we all started with. So my first research objective was to examine the impact test and energy absorption of the honeycomb composite structure when we are using aluminum top and bottom plate. So it has been evaluated. So first research objective has met. Second research objective was to examine the impact test and energy absorption of a honeycomb composite structure when tungsten top and bottom plate has used. So that has been used. We used the tungsten plate and we have evaluated the result for deformation, one Mises failure criteria and energy absorption. So second research objective has been met. So third research objective was to discuss which sandwich composite honeycomb structure would be better fit for the industrial application. So when comparing the results, tungsten plates offers better performance compared to the aluminum plate. So tungsten plate on either side of honeycomb structure, it is recommended 
for the use in the industrial applications. And our fourth research objective, project objective was to evaluation of cell thickness optimization on the dissipation of energy absorbed. So due to the lack of high performance computing machine and also the limitations of the student version of the NCs, the objectives of the project could not be achieved. But surely this could be enlisted as the future works. So that's all about my presentation today. I would like to stretch my thanks to Dr. Calvin Stewart for his for his help all through the course. And this is me, your presenter today, Muhammad Abir Hussain. I'm a PhD student in Mechanical Engineering Department. So if you have any questions or any queries about this video, you can reach out to me through my email or you can comment in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you.